In case you ever find yourself going to the most dangerous place in any rural environment, the Dollar General, you might want to have an EDC bag. What's an everyday carry bag? Well, it's something that helps expand upon the EDC you already have on your person and allows you to have a little bit more capability in the sense of an actual backpack. And no, this is not a get home bag. It's not a bug out bag. It's just an EDC bag, which is why Mine is mostly empty because I like to use it as an actual backpack. So let's talk about the bag itself, what's inside of it, and hopefully give you some ideas as to how to set up your EDC bag. Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and this is my EDC bag or everyday carry backpack. Now this particular backpack is a Maxpedition Prepared Citizen version 2.0, which is a really nicely put together backpack. And now it's not the most low key bag you could possibly find, but it's pretty low key to come from a company like Maxpedition that uses high quality materials and it's very well constructed. So this is gonna last you a long time. And I think these run about 60 bucks over at Midway USA, which is where I got the bag. And of course they're the biggest supporter of the channel and a big thanks to Midway USA for always helping me out with projects like this one. So. Here's the thing, I like this bag a lot. It's purpose built in many ways, but it's also still maintaining that kind of minimalist footprint while also being minimal in my approach because I want this backpack to not only give me some additional everyday carry capabilities, I also want it to be a backpack. I wanna be able to shove a coat in there or something I bought at a store in there, whatever else I might wanna put in my backpack. I don't want it to be filled to the brim like a get home bag or a bug out bag or something like that. So. It's a minimalist approach, but there are still some big functionality improvements over no backpack at all by having this bag. So let me show you what's inside and we'll just talk about that. And let me know in the comments below what you would have in your EDC bag, what you would add, what you'd get rid of, because I'm always looking for your advice as well. All right, so here we have the Maxpedition Prepared Citizen Backpack up close. Now this is 1000 denier nylon, so it's very durable material. And then we have a large compartment, medium compartment, a small compartment. Here I've got a Star Wars patch just to kind of throw somebody off, right? There's nothing tactical about this. It's a nerd bag, which is actually accurate. And then on the back, we have pretty nice padding for your back as well as some good padded shoulder straps. And then this is their concealed carry compartment. So you have a zipper and then a hook and loop field, which rips it open in case you wanna just leave the zipper open and just tear this apart. And then you, in here, you have more hook and loop so you can attach like a holster or something. Um, I don't use it for that because I carry my gun on my body, but if you wanted that capability, you could use it for that. And it's accessible from both sides. So on this side, you also have a zipper, but you don't have the additional hook and loop attachment here on this side. So. It is nice if you want to store anything extra in here or if you just want to carry something like a PDW, you could. Um, it's just not the way I use the bag. So let's go ahead and tear into the main compartment first. So we have big open compartment. We're going to open it up and let's see what's inside. So first off, I've got a Premier Body Armor armor panel right here in the back. Now this one's in particularly the right size for an Eberly stock switchblade, but it fits in this backpack perfectly as well. So I got a link to them down in the description as well as in the pinned comment, as well as a discount code, which I believe is magic 10 for 10% off. So if you're looking for armor for backpacks or anything else, even just like for your plate carrier, check out Premier Body Armor. They're a good supporter of the channel. But what this does is it allows me to have level 3A armor in the backpack. So I have some back armor on, which means if I wanted to, um, integrate it with like a front panel using an everyday armor t-shirt or something like that, I could. And then I'm, you know, somewhat covertly armored for whatever's happening. And honestly, this is also a laptop pouch. So if I have a laptop in there, I probably won't have the armor panel, but if I don't, I might as well have it in there because it really doesn't hurt anything and it's not that heavy. So a little bit of bulletproofing, which I think is a good idea. And then right here, we got some water. Uh, smart water bottle because it integrates with a Sawyer Mini, which you'll see here in a minute, but just a water bottle, right? Nothing fancy, nothing crazy, but I just want to have some water on me because I have a backpack. I might as well have some water. You probably are going to need water at some point in time, right? And then you can see this is a very empty compartment. So I've got some baby wipes, right? And I've got some training underwear because that's what we're doing right now when it comes to kids. And yeah, I use this as a dad, not just as some guy who wants to make videos on YouTube. Weird enough, right? So mostly empty. And then down here in the bottom, you can see there's a panel there. I actually cut a lid of like a Tupperware container into a rectangle that fit the bottom of the bag to give it some rigidity on the bottom. As you can see, it's like a little bit more rigid here now, and it allows it to stand up when I set it down. So I did that to kind of make it a little bit more rigid and so that when I have something like a water bottle in there or something else, it's not poking out the bottom or making it an oblong shape. It allows me to still just set it on the ground. So that's why I did that. And I would suggest doing something similar in here. Let's take it out and show you. It's just piece of plastic that I cut up. Okay, then there's also this 
mesh pocket right here. And that's actually where I have a little bit more sustainment. What do I mean by that? Well, okay, we've got Sawyer Mini. So this is just some level of water treatment to have on me just in case. I mean, this is not a get home bag. It's not a bug out bag, but you know what? I could have this on. I could be in like a, a building or something. I get separated from my vehicle and at least I have some way to get water because we're all gonna need water at some point in time. So Sawyer Mini, which will integrate with the smart water bottle. So I'll go ahead and just demo that just so everybody's aware that this is the combo you're looking for if you wanna buy a disposable bottle that you can use your Sawyer Mini with. So I'm gonna screw that right on the top there, and now I can drink it right from this bottle, or I can use the bottle and squeeze the water out to filter it into another container, whatever I wanna do. So that's why I'm using this combination. It works, it's cheap, it does the job. These are like 20 bucks, this thing was like 250. It is what it is, right? So EDC bag, this isn't live out of forever bag, this is get around town and have a decent day bag, right? Okay, with, with a little more capability, like some bulletproofing, because why not, okay? So in here, I also have a tourniquet. Now this is in addition to the one I carry on my person. So I have one in my pocket, but now I have another one in my backpack. So we're having multiple redundancies now for first aid, which is always a good idea. Okay, bright orange, because why not? Easily identified. And uh, yeah, I'm not necessarily worried about being in some kind of like a camouflage environment. I'm, I'm walking around a mall or like a Walmart or something, right? Then we also have this, which is North American Rescue Individual Aid Kit. Now these are really cool. They're not very expensive. I think they're like, like less than $20, but you get this and it comes vacuum sealed and it has compressed gauze. It has an emergency trauma dressing, which is a pressure bandage, right? And then you have petroleum gauze, a, um, some surgical tape, and you have some gloves in here. So nothing crazy, but it's like a good trauma kit that's very compact and, and just pre-packaged, ready to be used by the individual. So I throw this in that mesh pocket so I have a higher level of first aid without getting into my entire IFAC kit, which is in my get home bag. And I even have a more substantial kit in my vehicle as well. So I have a lot of first aid with me, but this has it on me no matter where I'm at in the situation of using this EDC bag. So I like these little kits quite a bit actually for how inexpensive they are. So we have some first aid, we have some trauma kits, all that good stuff, okay. Um, I also have some moleskin, and that's just because if we're out walking around for a long time and somebody starts complaining about their feet or getting like a hot spot or a blister, then moleskin fixes that real quick, real easy. And I don't see enough moleskin out there. So make sure you got some moleskin, okay? Now, one thing that I'm missing from in here right now that I usually have more of is just band-aids because sometimes you just need a regular old band-aid, but I think I took them out recently to change something over from what I was doing and I forgot to put them back in, which I'm just now discovering. So bad on me for not remembering that, but good that I'm remembering it now and I would have some just standard band-aids, okay? All right, so that's the main compartment. All the zippers are like YKK, I believe. Um, yeah, they're YKK high quality zippers. Like everything about this bag is super high quality. This feels really good. Like I'm not worried about this bag at all, okay? All right, so. Let's see, let's jump into small front compartment. This is just whatever you want it to be. It's a wide open pocket. Go ahead and unzip that. Now, here's what's cool about what's in here. I've got some <laughs> beef jerky. So this is just what, snacks or miscellaneous or whatever else. But this is actually from a company called Angry Viking Jerky. And they actually sent this out to me because they like the channel and they just support what I do. They said, hey, Magic Pepper, do you like jerky? And I'm like, well, I'm an American male. So yeah, I do. Uh, so they actually sent this over to me and I thought it was really good and the sweet Asian chili is my favorite So they even have snickerdoodle and stuff like that check them out I'll put a link down below but if you use the code prepper you get 10% off and no I don't get commissions or anything like that They just seem like a cool company. They're veteran owned. It's an American company, right? And uh, I just appreciate them helping me out and sending me jerky because I love jerky So check them out angry Viking jerky, but Snacks are a good thing to have, right? This is an everyday carry bag. So we have snacks and jerky, let's be honest, is like the best snack you could possibly think of, at least in my opinion. So jerky's in there and, and nothing else, right? This is pretty minimalistic. I'm not trying to get too crazy here. We're not trying to, you know, basically run a revolution or something out of this bag. I had to stumble on that a little bit because the words I was about to say probably would have got me in trouble. Anyway, let's kind of uh, <laughs> keep moving forward here before we say anything more. This middle pouch is kind of where the magic's at, right? Which I guess is a pun based on my channel name, but wasn't meant to be. So in here, you get a little bit of organization. Now, what do I keep in here? Nothing crazy either. I mean, you have a hook here for your keys if you want to throw them in your backpack, which you know could be good, I guess, depending on the situation. Right in the rain. Why do I always have right in the rain? Because it's just good to have a way to write things down or take notes, especially if electronics go down. 
it just gives you a, a capability. So I have a right in the rain in there. We always have a Sharpie because, you know, tourniquets as well as just taking notes or maybe marking something, you might have to use a Sharpie. And then I also have a right in the rain pen for the same reasons to be able to write on the notepad. And then uh, over here, I like these Anchor uh, portable power banks. I would suggest them just because I have a couple of them now and they all seem to work just fine and I buy them refurbished. So if you're looking for a power bank, Anchor makes good ones, but get a refurbished one. You save a lot of money. And what's cool about refurbished stuff when it's crap from China is that somebody had to go back and fix it to make sure it actually worked correctly and then test it and then said, yeah, we can send this back and resell it. So I actually would rather skip that step as a consumer and just have them fix it in the first place and send it back to me. So that's why I buy these refurbished and all of them have worked fine when I do that. All right, so power bank. Why do I need a power bank? This keeps my phone up and running, and it also keeps my flashlight up and running, my EDC light, which is a Surefire Stiletto. I've got all the right USB cables for that right there. And that's all that's in these main pockets right here. Now on this side of the pocket, you get another hook and loop field, which I really like. And what I use right here is Blue Force Gear's 10 speed pistol pouch or pistol magazine pouch. It's a 10 speed three pistol magazine pouch dapper pouch or something like that. I can't say words or, or even read English, but what I like about it is that I can expand my pistol magazines if I need to with the backpack, right? So I have a couple more Glock mags here, right? So these are 17 round mags because why not? It does the job. And then what's nice is you have a few more magazines, right? They're in there really tight, by the way. So that uh, dapper pouch does a really good job of hanging on to them. It's just uh, they're, you know, strong elastic that Blue Force Gear uses for their 10 speed stuff. And I found it to be very good. In fact, I'm using that new split uh, front 10 speed chest rig and it's going very well. We'll have a video on that eventually. But, and then I just have some firearm uh, electronics redundancy here, a couple CR-123s and a 2032 battery, uh, just in case the electronics go down. And luckily with an Aimpoint Acro, I can actually replace that battery really easy without having to freak out. So that's cool. Keeps a weapon light up and running too. And then this thing, what's really nice about it is it just has the hook on the back for the hook and loop field. So you can just rip it right out or you can change it to another bag or whatever you want to do. And so I like this thing quite a bit. So that's a Blue Force Gear 3 pistol magazine dapper pouch. I really hope I nailed it that time, but who knows, all right? So that's what's in the bag. That's the whole EDC bag. Look, this is meant for everyday carry. So it's not very heavy. It has a lot of space to add more to it if I need to. Can I throw a jacket in there if I have to? Yeah, especially like a down jacket that'll pack down. Uh, do I? Can I throw a poncho in there? 100%. Can I have gloves in there? Can I put a bag I just bought from a store in there? Can I put something my kid didn't want to carry anymore in there? I can do a lot by not having too much in this bag. As preppers, we tend to fill everything to the brim, and that's a problem when it comes to something that you're supposed to use as a backpack, which is exactly what this is. So if I'm on my way to the shooting range, I could actually bring this and throw some extra stuff in here, like some, some earmuffs or whatever, and be good to go. Maybe I'm on my way to a commander tournament. I got to throw some magic card decks in here. I don't know. That's not like something I actually do, or, or maybe it is. But either way, all I'm trying to say is, that's the EDC bag. Let me know what your thoughts were in the comments. Let me know anything you would change or do differently or how you carry your EDC bag. Or maybe you're running a PDW or something like that in the compartment here. Cool. Let me know about that in the comments below. Hopefully this gives you some things to think about. Anything else you need from me, go to magicprepper.com. And besides that, it's going to be it for Magic Prepper.